The Odyssey Neo G7 has been announced by Samsung. A cut-down, 1000 nits in peak brightness HDR performance monitor at 165Hz. Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. Today I'm bringing you some information from Samsung Display Solutions and Notebook Check, giving you all the details on the new Samsung Odyssey Neo G7, an alternative to the Odyssey Neo G8. And mind you friends, Samsung is announcing new monitors from the Odyssey G4, the Neo G7, and Neo G8 at Computex 2022, as even some reporting outlets are getting the information wrong. Things can change at any moment, but I'm giving you here the information so you can know overall what to expect with the Odyssey Neo G7. The good thing is that the Odyssey Neo G7 is a 4K monitor at 1196 mini LED local dimming zones at 165Hz. So it retains everything from the awesome and amazing Odyssey Neo G8. The only difference here is that it's capped at 1000 nits of peak brightness in HDR mode, while the Odyssey Neo G8 can hit up to 2000 nits. Now the monitor is HDR2000 certified according to Samsung, and you can see it here on Samsung's own Display Solutions website and the reporting outlets. It's not Visa certified, it's Samsung certified. So take that into account when knowing the true power of HDR with these two monitors. Samsung has also included AMD FreeSync Premium Pro and NVIDIA G-Sync support to minimize image tearing. Moreover, the Odyssey Neo G7 operates at 165Hz, hence we're seeing here, which Samsung complements with DisplayPort 1.4 and HDMI 2.1 connectivity. Samsung has included two USB 3.0 Type-A ports with a 3.5mm jack and a USB Type-B upstream port. And this does look to be the same Odyssey G75 monitor announced early at CES 2021 which won the Innovation Award for its 4K 1000 HDR brightness. But there was no mention of mini LED technology into it. So you can see why a delay of about a year and a half takes into account that. Here with more information showing you that it's the same as the Odyssey Neo G8, except it is capped at 1000 nits on the Neo G7 versus the 2000 nits on the Neo G8 and 165 hertz on the Neo G7 versus the 240 hertz of the Neo G8. It's a lot simpler with this new name as Overclockers.UK had them for the most part of the year, just the refresh rate being different, but more information is being released and this will be updated worldwide. Here are some more amazing pictures of this beautiful monitor. You can see it is an all black back compared to the Odyssey Neo G8's all white back, everything being the same. And this will be cheaper. Samsung will be announcing pricing very, very soon in the next week or so. And I will bring you that information as soon as it breaks. As you all know, friends, the Odyssey Neo G8 is being released June 6th in America. And I will bring you the information of the Neo G7 as soon as Samsung announces it. So what do you guys think? I really like this Neo G7 naming. I mean, I got the 32 inch G7, the 28 inch G70A, and now having a Neo G7, now true upgrade of the regular G7, you know what I mean? But not with this new name. The Neo G7 is the upgrade from the regular G7, as I would call the G70A a smaller 4K non-mini LED version with its beautiful Inolux panel and its awesome black equalizer. But this Neo G7 is a VA panel, mini LED, 1000 plus local dimming zones, 165 hertz, and that lower peak brightness in HDR mode, both monitors, the Neo G7 and Neo G8, do come at 95% of the DCI-P3 color coverage. That was the last piece of the puzzle that we haven't had throughout the whole year. So now that we know, it's top tier. And that contrast will be amazing with this mini LED technology. It does include two HDMI 2.1 ports, friends, and one Display 1.4 port on both monitors. So it's next generation console ready, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and the future. You can hook up both systems to this awesome monitor to experience the 4K 120 Hertz with VRR enabled. This is next generation PC monitor technology now in our hands, and it will be here very soon on the channel with the Odyssey Neo G8 version. But if you request it, I'll see what I can do to get the Odyssey Neo G7 what am I going to do with four Odyssey G7 monitors and the Neo G8? I don't know, but you know how we do it here. I showcase technology to help you make that awesome buying decision. So friends, hit that like button. And if there's enough likes, I'll do my best to get the Odyssey Neo G7 here on the channel. So friends, bringing you this information as soon as it breaks. Subscribe if you want to see more of this awesome Odyssey line of monitors. Hit that like button so more people can see it to help them make that awesome buying decision. Stay safe out there and I'll see you guys next time.